Hello and welcome to Loud Creations. Today I'm making a really quick sizer, which is a apple cider, hard apple cider made with honey. So this isn't just going to be a regular sizer, it is going to be a lemon balm sizer because I have lemon balm growing out of my ears. Here's some lemon balm that I just dried that I'm going to be making a tea out of. But before I get into all that, let me just go over what the ingredients are. I'm kind of doing this on the fly, but you know, that's kind of the fun way to do it. So I went ahead and bought some just organic Honeycrisp apple cider, and I made sure it doesn't have any additives or, um, oh, what's the word? When you don't want it to go bad. God, why? Oh. So I made sure it doesn't have any preservatives in it. That's the word I was looking for, preservatives. It's just apples and apples, lots of apples. So we got our apple cider, that's the base for this. I'm gonna make a gallon and a half. So I have my gallon and a half carboy. I have my two sprigs of dried lemon balm that I will be making into a tea one bag of black tea, Lalvin D47 yeast. I'm not doing all the go firm and all that stuff this time. I'm just gonna throw it all in there. Uh, and then I have some raw honey. I'm gonna try to keep this on the lower end as far as the ABV, so um, I don't see myself adding much more than maybe two pounds of honey. Uh, we, we shall see. What am I missing? Missing something. Okay, and just for fun, I'm gonna add a little bit of lemon zest. So there are the ingredients. That's what we're doing here today. I'm gonna go ahead and start. I'd already boiled some water right before I came up here to record. I'm gonna put my lemon balm, ooh, this is still wet. I'm gonna put my lemon balm in this mesh bag so I don't have to worry about it. And then we will pour the tea over this and let it steep for like, I don't know, 10 minutes. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I got the lemon balm in there. I'm gonna squish it up a bit just to break it down. I didn't put the stems in there. So there's that. And you know what? I'm just gonna put my black tea bag in here just so it's easier for me to pull out because, because yeah. So I'm tying this off. There she be. Okay, now I'm ready to go. So got, Got the bag in there, just gonna pour, I think I did about six cups uh, water. Let's see. Oh, well, according to this, it's more like seven cups, but whatever. So I'm gonna go ahead and just cover that and set it aside here. Hopefully somewhere where I won't knock it over because I have Stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and start putting my apple cider in here. I'm also gonna add some honey. And yeah, I'm gonna try to try to remember to leave enough room for the tea. That that's that's the challenge here. So let's see. I'm guessing I'm only gonna use two of these. These are 64 ounce things. And since I have a bunch of tea coming and I'm gonna be putting honey in, I'm gonna use two. Here goes the second one. Whoa. I'm gonna stop right there just to be safe, and if there's room, I'll be putting the rest of this in there, but I guess I'll be making something else out of this. Okay, so we got that going for us. Um, heck, why don't we put in some honey? Now, I'm not being exact about this. I do have a scale. I'm not gonna use it, because I'm impatient, or I don't care enough about the exact ABV. Um, so I'm just gonna Pour the honey in and try to do about, this is a 
a three pound container, so I'm going to try to do about two thirds of it. It's not two thirds, is it? Is it? No. Okay, I'm going to let that drip in there. When the tea's ready, I'm going to pour it over this and hopefully the honey will just wash out. So it's been about 10 minutes. I am ready to put my tea in. So here we go. We got we got our black and lemon balm tea. I'm just going to... Ah, oh, oh, I forgot about this. I stopped using this measuring cup because every time I try to pour with it, it spills. And now, now it's all coming back to me. I was wondering why. I was like, oh, oh yes, you. Let me clean up here for a second. Why haven't I used you for a while? Because you're an asshole. That's why. Okay. Let's try again. Ouch. So I'm going to leave this with some second degree burns, probably the rate I'm going. I think I have too much. I put in too much of the apple cider, so I'm left with some tea. I'm just going to be cool with that. I need to go put some ice on my hand because I burnt myself. Ah, <laughs> uh, the joys of making mead for me. I don't know about you guys, but I, I tend to like... I don't know. It's not a smooth process about half the time. Uh, okay, so next, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna take this out of there. Put it there. I'm gonna add a little bit of lemon zest, just cause. Uh, I don't know, I mean, these are tiny little strips. I just added two. I might be adding a little lemon juice uh, when I go to taste it before putting it in secondary or before bottling, I should say. But um, yeah, so what I'm going to do now is shake this bad boy up, uh, try to get as much oxygen in there as possible and make sure that the honey is fully mixed. So I will be right back. <laughs> That's a workout. I'm, I'm, it's not mixing in, uh, probably because the water is not very warm. I mean, I did put hot tea in there, but Woo it's hot outside. I'm sweating, taking a little break here to say I'm going to be shaking this up more because there's still honey in the bottom. But while I take a break, I just wanted to talk about what my plans are for this. I am hoping to carbonate this. I have yet to intentionally carbonate anything. My strawberry vanilla or strawberries and cream made carbonated. It was interesting. Um, but I want to do it intentionally and then pasteurize. So that's what I'm doing with this. This is kind of my practice run to make a cider. I haven't decided if I'm going to make it a spice cider or not. I might add um, some cinnamon and maybe a clove into secondary. Just depends on how I feel when I get to that point. So, okay, now that I'm sweating, I've cooled off, I'm gonna start shaking this again. I'll be back. I'm back again to complain. I'm uh, still not mixed, and this is why I pour my honey into the tea that I make when I'm making like a methaglin. Although, you know, what I've read is with raw honey, it's not good to heat it up too much because you kill off a lot of the good bacteria in there. So I'm excited to do it this way. Maybe it's because it's a bigger container and I should have just used my little spinny thing that you put on a drill. Uh, but I like to do things the hard way. So I'm back. Okay. Third time's the charm. I'm going to try again. Let's see where we're at. We're eh. Yeah, it's mostly mixed, but I'm going to, I'm going to do it a little bit longer. I'll be back. I don't know if you guys can see, but I'm I'm literally sweating. I mean, it's kind of hot out today, so that's part of it, but it's mixed. It took took a while. And there's still like maybe a tiny bit. Let's see if you can see. Eh, that looks pretty good. Uh 
<laughs> Woo! Maybe I need to exercise more. Maybe that's what this is telling me. I'm going to take a gravity reading and then I'm going to put the yeast in. So let's, let's see what we got going on here. Okay, so we're at 1.056. Hmm, let's do the little calculator. Okay, that's not quite, I need a little higher. So, because that'll bring me to like a 7%, which, you know, I'm just going to put a little bit more of this in there. Because I love mixing honey in, especially when the carboy is really full. It's fun. It's an aerobic workout. It is what it is. And now this is going to be really full. So what do you think is going to happen? I'll tell you what I think. If these little yeasties, when I put them in, really are enjoying the environment, this thing's going to overflow. But I have, I'm prepared for that. Okay, so I'm going to let this slowly drip in and I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. Let's do this again. <laughs> okay, so this is at uh, one. I'm going to say, mm, yeah, 1.062, which will give us about 8.15% according to this. All right, I'm about ready to... Do the final steps. Pour this back in here. I might, I'm gonna keep a little because I don't want it to be quite so high up. So it's down to here. Now, got my Lal V and D47 yeast. What I'm gonna do now is just mix this in. Give it a little swish swish. See all the yeast kind of floating down. Hope you guys like it in there. There's lots of oxygen because I shook this thing for a good 15, 20 minutes. And I'm gonna, I have my airlock with sanitization fluid in it. All this, everything I use today, including my hands are sanitized. What am I doing now? Oh, why don't we put a label on? Okay, so the label's on. It's ready to go. It's going to go in my closet and I'm going to step feed it with some Fermade O over the next, what is it? First three days, quarter teaspoon Fermade O and then on the seventh day is usually what I do. So that's what we'll be doing. I'm not sure, like I said, I think this, you know, might be drinkable around the holidays. So I was thinking that spi making it spiced would be festive and nice. So, uh, yeah, let me know what you think. If you have any opinion on whether or not I should make this a spiced sizer or leave it as is. I hope this video is useful and I will see you next time. Thank you.